Okay, proud of the performance of the team. UNO, well coached, tough lineup, some good players throughout the whole batting order. I, I was pleased offensively with what we did, but the, the trademark of good teams are that you're, you're hard to score on. And it starts with the people on the mound and it starts with how you play defense. And when you do that, you have a chance to maintain a competitive game all the time. So that was what pleased me most about, about today. Jamie was on it. Um, the one inning, I think he had two, might have been the third, two outs, nobody on 0-2 count, and all of a sudden were bases loaded. And Cam made a nice play to kind of settle that thing down. That inning really chewed up when he got into that situation that he, if he executes the pitch, probably doesn't find himself in 0-2. Um, he kind of ate through a whole nother innings worth of pitches to get out of that jam. I thought he was fine. The velocity was good. But they battled and put the ball in play, and, and we played solid defense. I thought John Abraham, we found that spot where we wanted to get him in there against the string of right-handed hitters, and he got the breaking ball going. It's a good breaking ball. It, it gives us problems. So the more we can get him into those situations and let him feel some confidence and experience and just mature with what he's doing, we're going to need him to do that like, through the long haul of the season. And I think he's going to continue to get better from it. Holtz, actually, to match up with the lefty, that's why we went to him. And he made some really good pitches. Um, he didn't get the call on the one. But he, he pitched better. Like, it was, it was fine. Um, so all around, pleased with it. Tibbs, the first inning, just to, just to play to run. We had the base running over aggressiveness. Diamas committed. He was in perfect position. And then at the last second, he. He made a commitment, and their right fielder's a really good player. Went up on the wall, made a play, and then, you know, to kind of grab the momentum back, Tibbs hitting the home run was huge. And the offense kind of went from there. Tibbs had a huge day. Just the lesson for our team is we had two outs and nobody on pitching and defense, and all of a sudden more bases loaded, and we have a mess. Two innings in a row offensively, we had two outs and nobody on offensively and ended up scoring. So. You just have to keep engaged and stay through the fight of this every inning. And that was a good little lesson today in, in how those innings unfolded. Jamie, like last week, had, had traffic on the base paths again. But the ability to limit it and not allow anything to score, just how impressive you've been with him pitching in those moments? I've been impressed with everything. The stuff, when you can keep that stuff in the zone, when you're 93 to 96 and you have your slider and your changeup. you would hope if it's in play you're going to get contact that's not over the top and it's something your defense can handle and he just has to get himself in a little better position with the put away stuff I think today I you guys can tell better than me from looking at it in the dugout like where some of the pitches were to try to finish people off but the ball in play, we had some quick outs, which helps a starting pitcher become efficient and really extend. So like managing the traffic good, when the ball's in play, there's a chance of traffic. There's also a chance that you get some quick outs and it keeps the pitch count down. So I thought he was fine today. This stuff looked good. I, you know, Again, reviewing the game from a better angle to see where he was actually throwing some of these things. That, that'll tell the true story for me, but please with the, uh, kind of the poise and the presence and the stuff that he brought today. I don't know, I guess the decision to move him Saturday, Sunday, was that about weather or maybe another factor, but because it, of the bullpen day, it's, it's putting him in a spot where you kind of needed length from him, especially to keep the bullpen ready for Tuesday. I guess how important was it that JMT managed out of in that regard? It was huge. It was huge. Like I was frustrated when we had control of that inning. I think it was a third. We had two outs and nobody on an 0-2 count to Sanford, and we ended up bases loaded, like, including an 0-2 hit. Like, that was the spot where I was concerned that we may not get the length we needed from him. It just made more sense to let him throw today. And some of the guys that pitched yesterday, clearly we're going to have to have guys for Tuesday. We have a decision to make with Whitaker on how to use him. Eventually, we need to get him back. Logic would tell you on the weekend and when's the right time to do it. I, Mike and I will figure that out. Um, but today made more sense and it freshened you up a little bit going into into this week. So um, the guys yesterday did fine. 
it got a lot of guys involved, and we got some other guys involved today. So I'm, I'm pleased with how that went for everybody. You talk about prepping a little bit for what's coming up this week. To be able to get the shutout victory in game three, continue the win streak, what kind of confidence does that continue to give this team as you guys do get ready for Florida? Well, the guys feel good, and this is a challenging situation here because you can see the effort to get people into these ball games. There's guys that deserve to be playing, that want to be playing, and the guys that we asked to step out of the game to have somebody else get an opportunity. There's, there's challenging moments in this thing throughout the course of the game. So they just keep fighting. And now you look to Tuesday, we know that's a really good team. We will go down there and that will be a dog fight. And that's just another challenge. So the challenge of how they fight for what they're doing every day out here, I think the result that we're seeing is in some regards attributed to how hard they work and how hard they're fighting for the opportunity to get on the field. So when you go down there, clearly it's a good team and it's not our home stadium. So there's another challenge, but but still it's the, the challenge that's brought about within this that I think raises the bar for for how well they're working and how well they're playing and how well they're fighting. You talk about Drew's transition to second base and I mean the diving play in the first and the yeah. charging play later on just how pleased have you been with his defense at second? So so impressed. Um, the angle I I played shortstop for the bulk of my college career. Basically, that's all I played. When I switched to second base, there were two instances when they hit the ball I ran the wrong way. Because you're so used to reading a swing and seeing how the ball comes off the bat. When I was on the other side of the diamond, the perspective was tricky for me. And I can't explain why that was. Just the regimented feel you had from one half of the field going to the other was unusual. He's done a really nice job. He's done a nice job. The double play stuff at second base is extreme. It's, it's challenging. It's extremely difficult to get there and change direction and make those pivots. Guys that are good at it make it look very easy. And it's, I'm telling you from experience, it's not easy. And some of the double play feeds that you have to be able to make and the change of direction and whether to throw it or flip it, he's made it look easy. And that's a sign of a good athlete and a good player and somebody that's got some savvy and feel for what they're doing, really pleased. He's made some solid, solid, good, borderline spectacular plays. The dive into right field, the dive up the middle, those, those are just great, great plays. I don't know how much uh, Florida scouting you've got to do or if that'll kind of be diving into that tonight, but what stands out about that team? I know the pitching staff hasn't put it all together, but that lineup's ferocious. Yeah, I can't tell you much about them. Like we have our hands full just trying to <laughs> trying to get through this. Um, we'll dive into that tonight and tomorrow. I know they're talented. Like they've been a a top program. They've been really, really good. They're talented. So I don't I can't tell you really much about them right now. That's something we'll turn to in the next twenty four hours. Can you just talk about the intensity of playing Florida and what this rivalry really means and just going down there this season with where you guys are at right now and the confidence that you have? Yeah, no, you're walking in to play a really talented, good team, and it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. Like, the weekends that are coming, these are super regional caliber challenges that you have. And we're clearly in a position to manage, like, going in there. Um, the guys are comfortable with what they're doing. We've gotten some of the pitchers in better spots in terms of just raw, pure experience at this level. Clearly, they're a really good team. And we need to go down and just play clean, good, crisp baseball. The scoreboard, whether it's today or Tuesday or next weekend or in June, the way you handle each individual pitch, each inning, the outcome of a game is based on that, not really necessarily where you're going or who it is. It's how you handle what comes at you one pitch at a time. Y'all entered the day, one of one of only two undefeated teams left in the country, the other one's losing right now in the later innings. I know that only means anything if you kind of keep going and build on it, but does, what does a strong start or this strong start do for a clubhouse morale, chemistry, just how everything's going for the group? Well, they have to feel confident about what they see. And when you look around yourself and you're out on the field, you see talented players that are playing the game hard. They're playing hard in this baseball. So that's 
that's how I feel about it. The record and the scores of the games, I know it really matters, but it's not something that I obsess with. Like I want us to walk out there every day and play really hard-nosed, clean, good baseball. Sometimes you do that and you still don't win. And sometimes the guys maximize their capabilities and it's not enough. But you try to you try to build this thing where when that's going, you have a chance to be a championship level top team. And uh, I like the way it feels. I, I, I do. So you just you try to whether it's ten games or four. I, I don't really know where that stacks in terms of nationally or the the other teams that are involved in this discussion. But I'm very proud of the way they have from the first pitch of the season to the last pitch today engaged and played the game. Thank you, fellas. All right.